No. No, I, I can't review a mobile game. I can't, I, that's rock bottom. Did not see this one coming. However, here we are. Hey everybody, welcome back to the TZK universe. My name is TZKU. You looked at the title and you thought, I thought he was done with Bendy. Like, how does he have still more to do? Well, I do. My main reason why I'm making this video here today is because I did something new right there. And however, this new thing didn't really work out as I would have hoped for for me personally. I decided it was a good idea to give Old Reliable a call. Save my dying channel. But then Old Reliable tells you it has nothing left but the mobile game and that the other main entree isn't quite done yet. What? So after a quick cry and defeat, we pick up the mobile game and... I immediately regret this decision. Here is my take on mobile games. Mobile games should be something you could pick up and play if you're bored out in public, whether you're in the passenger seat of a vehicle, out at the park, or even at your favorite restaurant waiting for your food. These games should not be games you should play obsessively. Those games are for stupid idiots. What? Yeah, I've been playing this game for about six years. I can stop when I'm ready. Just not today. Now back to the topic of this video. What's this game like? It's Temple Run. But the cameraman is a lot faster than you. Nowadays, mobile games have all been done. Angry Birds, Temple Run, Cut the Rope. Honestly, I can't recall the last time I've seen a very unique mobile game. Neither Run is slightly unique. It's a boss battle. And it, and it has an ending that you can achieve without dying. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Let's dig deeper into this game and give it the proper review it deserves. Now, before we get to the gameplay, there are a few things I want to mention when you open up the game. So, we're gonna- Yo, yo, TZ! Uh, hey, IHS Games. Um, is that you? How did you get here? Yeah, I was kind of wondering maybe if I could get a few parts in this video. Uh, well, thanks for answering the question on how you got here, but you know what? Yeah, sure. How about, yeah, go right ahead. Actually, you can have, you can have this part. Go right ahead. Sweet. Thanks for letting me take control of your video, CZ. Hey, that's not what I said. The prime time to play this game was definitely within the release back in 2018, because at that time, this game will let you play the whole game without a single ad, unless you watch an ad to make your character have more health. Now? It's riddled with ads everywhere. Oh, they threw ads in there? But be warned, there are advertisements. But I'm not saying ads are bad in any way. It's a way companies can make money off an app that you can get for free and the consumer doesn't want to purchase any of the in-game packages. However, start a game, ad. Get some extra health, ad. Finish a game, ad. There are four different episodes this game has to offer, five levels in each of them. After being the fifth one, you unlock Endless Run, basically if you want to grind for a new high score, or need extra soup for the shop. Thank you IHS Games, uh, I'll be taking control back on my video again, uh, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Now, I'm going to get some mood lighting in here, so that way, that way, we got the perfect mood for the rest of this video. Yeah, I'm not really all that worried about it. Don't worry about it. Upon opening the app for the first time on a new account, you are given a daily reward of 100 soup cans. Basically, this is meant to be a driving point to come back every day and receive free currency and watch it grow in numbers as you log in consecutively. So we hit collect on that and receive 100 cans. You can, however, watch an ad for a bonus 50 cans, but that's really up to you. Come back tomorrow and receive 200. No. And we are now in the game. IHS has already told you about the four episodes, so let's open up the first episode of Bendy Walks the Plank and start Act 1. You will notice little bonus missions for extra soup cans, which is a nice addition to while you're playing the episode. And you can come back and collect more while you're at it. So we click on Act 1 and start our adventure in Bendy Hell once more. You haven't said the last of me, TZ. God damn it, no. How the hell did you get back in here? Anyone could build a voiceover tutorial. Come on, I promise I will stop after this. Fine, take it away. 
When you start the game, you will get a tutorial. Swipe left or swipe right to move, left or right. You can jump by swiping up. Doing a double swipe will cause you to double jump, and if you swipe down while mid-air, you can ass smash whatever unfortunate being gets below you. It will tell you about picking up weapons. Swipe over to the weapon to pick it up, and tap it anywhere to throw the weapon behind you. Collect the soup cans to purchase new abilities and characters in the store. This is something we'll get to later. If you take damage in your run, you can collect health packs to heal up. And that was the tutorial, easy and informative to what the game has to offer. Okay, thank you for your help, IHS Games, but I'm going to be taking control of the rest of the video. You know, considering it's my video. Wait, what? How do you plan on getting rid of me, huh? I will find my way back in. By doing this. Anyways, let's progress back to the video. Starting with Act 1, it's super, super easy. Boss health is at 15 and it goes up each act also increasing the difficulty of obstacles being thrown at you. Should probably mention that there are names to each of these bosses. This is Chester. He will use his tentacle lash attack to send a shockwave towards Bendy. You are given an indicator on where to move, so thankfully there is a warning. This is all he does in Act 1. Every time you take a third of his health in a single run, the boss will disappear and leave you to fight off little grunts. Early acts, you will only have to take out one or two waves of enemies. Whereas later acts, you can have up to three. Take out the grunts and return to the boss. After finishing an act, you will receive XP for the run you just completed, judged by how far you went and how many enemies you killed. Level ups include more health for the selected character or a new costume that the character can wear. XP, however, is not shared, so if you're gonna max level, which is 20 by the way, you have to play as everybody. In act two, he adds a few new attacks. He will add spitballs fireballs i'm so lost on this he will also throw barrels at you the barrels don't give an indicator on where they are thrown so you'll have to pull either a last second dodge since it's kind of hard to tell where it's being thrown at first from my experiences of playing the game i will notice that when it's thrown it will be at the place that you were standing at last so pretty much just don't be in that position until the barrel passes in act three he will shoot out three fireballs and they will attack in random sequences. For example, it will land on the left first, and then it will hit the middle, and lastly, the right path. Thankfully, there are no attacks that are unavoidable in this game. In Act 4, he will throw all the attacks already listed and be able to add enemies on while he's chasing you. In Act 5, everything is faster than before. There are more enemies than before. Now, how do you defeat that enemy? You are given items to throw at the enemy. The brick will let you deal one damage to the enemy. The axe will let you deal two damage to the enemy, and the anvil will let you deal three damage. You can change the items cosmetically, but that is something we will cover once again in the store section of the review. All right, we have finished Bendy Walks the Plank. We can now move on to the, oh. So in order to move on to new episodes throughout the game, you will need bacon soup to unlock it rather than finishing one episode to unlock the next. Well, thankfully for me, I have an account that has Everything unlocked and ready to play. So in Death and Taxis, we face off with Gasket. He does some similar attacks like Chester does. In fact, all the bosses have a similar attack structure in a way. The only one I can recall is Canoodle from Soup Gone Bad doing his roll attack, which takes up two of the three paths for attacking. So you can either dodge it by sitting in the one path that isn't taken up or double jumping over it. Dewey Decimated is my personal favorite one environment-wise. You're running through a library and trying to avoid getting hit by a jug of ink. That's pretty fucking cool. The bosses are very unique, and I have to give credit on the designs to, of them. But that's about all I can give it. The game is super rinse and repeat, which is understandable. It's a mobile game. It's not a big entry title. This is gonna happen. The menu. Oh, the menu. What things can I say about this? Well, let's start at the top left of the screen and work our way down. Starting with the soup cans. You can tap that plus right there and are given a chance to purchase soup cans for real life money. Don't do this. This game is super easy to farm bacon soup cans. All you need to do is play nightmare game mode and just collect non-stop. You will earn a lot within one game if you are really into completing this game. However, you can buy merch from the Bendy store and get a bonus bacon soup. But I only got about $15 on hand, and I'm debating if I want this merch and soup can bonus for the video, or if I just really want some sushi. Hey, listen. 
I'm gonna get way more enjoyment out of this sushi than I'll ever get from any of the merch on the store. You can also redeem code where you put a code in and well, I've never done this before. However, IHS Games has supplied me a few codes. So we're gonna put those in right now. And it looks like the codes have an expiration date now. I've entered all the codes in and IHS Games has confirmed with me that none of these codes were ever used once. So do codes now expire or are they just no longer supporting this system? Back to the main menu, there is a hand. And when you press it, it becomes a fist. Touch it again, it becomes a hand again. Do I have any idea what this is? No. I have clicked that hand many times before and the game played the same. It doesn't seem to activate a hard mode or anything. It's just, it's really just a hand that you can tap. I googled everywhere and even the wiki that usually has everything on it mentioned nothing of this hand. So I'm going to officially petition a movement asking what the heck this hand does in Nightmare Run until Meatly gives us a response. The shop. There you go. There are two ways to access the merch store in Nightmare Run. Settings. Here you could turn the sound and music on or off while playing the game. You can also change the quality. I don't know what quality is changing here. I don't understand why you'd want to change the quality, but I guess if you have an older phone, you may want to use this setting, but my iPhone 6 can run this on high quality just fine, so I can't really figure out why this setting is here. Redo the tutorial here in case you forget how the game plays. Credits. Here is the people who made the game, the end, or you can log in and register. Means you can go across different devices and play on the same account. This is actually a really cool feature, I have to admit. Consider if you have, if you got a new phone, you can move it to the new phone without the fear of losing data for whatever reason. This is a neat feature and I've seen it a lot more as of recently. So it's nice to see. Now we have the abilities in this game, which you can upgrade up to level 10 with the soup cans. You have a magnet, which will bring all the soup cans to Bendy. A shield. If you find yourself in a sticky situation where you have a terrible feeling you're going to get hit, hit this ability and protect yourself from that hit. A bomb. Bombs? Deal massive amounts of damage to the boss that can drop their health up to 8 points. Days. Incapacitate your enemies and stop them from attacking you. Fortune. This one is good. But you can get a permanent fortune by just buying the double bacon soup can in the bacon soup shop. We're placed for that, but that's fine. And finally, heal. You can have an on-the-go med kit on standby, ready to activate and use when you can. These are perfect for those long runs you may want to experience in nightmare mode. You can have up to three slots in. Those are unlocked by, surprise, bacon soup cans. Now we have the final part to the menu. When we click Bendy's face, we are showing that Alice and Boris are unlockable characters in the game. Each of them are 7.5k soup cans, and those two have some special abilities. However, Bendy has nothing unique to him other than being Bendy. Logging on to my main account, we can look at all the skins for each character. These are all unlocked by soup cans. All the characters have pirate, mechanic, construction, and librarian relating to the episodes in the game. And while there are some bonus unique ones to each characters, each character can also have their own unique weapons and they are based on each act in the games as well. So, do I like this game? I mean, that's usually what decides this review's fate. Personally, I did enjoy playing it again for footage and replaying it to write the script for this review, but this is definitely not something I could see myself playing more of again. It's a good pickup game, but I wouldn't treat this game with any higher praise than Ink Machine or Dark Survival got for that matter. It's a unique spin on Temple Run once again. Play it whenever you're in the mood to play a quick game on the phone, but that is all I can give to this game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Bendy's of all ages, that is the review video, which pretty much means I've covered everything there is to cover that revolves around Bendy. So, my next request is... Hi. Come here. Bendy developers. Hi, guys. Hi. I know you guys don't really like me, but listen, I've reviewed all of your games. Including the other game from, you know, the, the Showdown Bandit one. See, I covered that. I reviewed them all. And typically I've kind of given them all good ones. 
some showdown bandit. That one wasn't really my favorite, personally. But I'm asking you kindly right now. Please, give me a review copy of Dark Revival. <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. <laughs> you don't have to give me a review copy. I want to say thanks to IHS Games for uh, collaborating with me on this one. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, hey, be sure to check it out. It's in the description. Uh, he covers the horror genre like crazy over there. So if you guys are horror fans, which I know a vast majority of you guys are over here, be sure to check out his YouTube channel. Personally, I think it's a great YouTube channel, and I hope to see it grow big someday. Uh, he definitely deserves it. He's working very hard, and I look forward to seeing more content from him. That's all for Bendy content for the time being. The next time we'll probably see Bendy on this channel. 2021. That's this year. When did I write this script? Well, everybody, thank you so much for tuning into today's review video. No ending skit for me. See, I'm trying to distance myself a little bit from The Fiend a little more. You know, considering the fact that he's not even my character. He belongs to WWE, and he's also under the name of Bray Wyatt. Wrestling. If you don't understand, it's okay. So, that's why I'm just going to end it saying farewell, every. The lighter was there just a second ago. Wait! I got an idea.